Hey guys, it's Ellen. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be participating in Dewey's 24 hour readathon, as you can probably tell by the title of this video. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys what I'm planning on reading during that time period. Um, I will leave a link below to the website so you can check out when um, it starts in your time zone, when the 24 hour starts for you. They made it so that you start, everybody starts at exactly the same time, so it's going to be different time zones for different people. So, um, for me, I start at 8 a.m. on Saturday, the 25th, um, and I'll be reading hopefully 24 hours as much as I can that weekend. Uh, we'll see how much I get done, but um, I want to let you know, guys know what I'm planning on sort of tentatively getting to. I have a couple of books that I am currently reading right now, and I'd love to be able to finish them. So, let's just get started. The first book I have here is The Shell Collector by Anthony Doerr. Um, I read All the Light We Cannot See earlier this year. Was that right? Yeah, I think it was one of the first books that I read this year. Um, and I really loved his writing. I didn't so much think the story was that intriguing or that um, captivating. Um, it was good, but I didn't absolutely love it. But I did love his writing. And you can see from like all the little places where I um, put sticky notes in this book, what I've read so far, I'm maybe about halfway through a little less than halfway. Um, I've been loving his writing and just the way he tells stories, I think is really quite beautiful. Um, this one deals a lot with nature and interactions uh, that different people have with nature. So it's really interesting. Um, obviously, it's beautifully written and it's short stories. So I've gotten through a couple of them. I like some of them more than others, but um, overall, I think it's a really nice collection. So I am hoping to finish this one um, during the 24 hour readathon. I think it'll be good to sort of, uh, in between the other books I have planned, sort of throw in a short story here and there. Um, that's kind of what I'm planning on doing with that. So yeah, I think that'll be fun. The next book that I am currently reading is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Um, I decided to pick this one up as sort of my like contemporary for the month. Um, and the first maybe 30 pages or so, I was not really that interested in it. I thought it was a little bit cliche. Um, very typical, like, new adult, I would say. Um slash young adult sort of writing, um, but now that they've gotten sort of into the romance that happens in here, um, I'm on board and I really want to know what happens. So uh, it's kind of a big book, so I'm hoping I can finish this one. Um, yeah, hoping so. I think I'm more likely to finish this book, which is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Um, I actually started this one last night, but I'm flying through it because it's really interesting. Um, and I was just craving like a weird, like almost fantasy kind of story. Um, and this one has to do with like clairvoyance um, and these weird creatures that take over this um, society. I, there's lots of different interesting details in here and I really like the main character a lot. So um, I think I'm probably going to finish this one because it's kind of got me on the edge of my seat, which I really like. So um, yeah, this one is really good so far. Okay guys, so those are the three books that I'm hoping to finish during Dewey's 24 hour readathon. Um, I will let you know at the end how I did um, and I will talk more about the books in my wrap up at the end of the month. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye!